Valley the Perfume down back at you with a different kind of video. I really wanted to show you guys kind of like an entire look, what I would wear in a week, um, what fragrances to go with it. I really like, I'm a planner. I like to plan at the beginning of the week what I'm going to wear, that sort of thing. So then when it comes like I have to go to the event or I have to go to work or that sort of thing, I'm not like rushing around trying to figure out to, what to wear. Because if you don't have one outfit to wear, you feel like you look great or you feel confident then you're just going to evoke that in the entire day so i want to say thank you so much to shein for sending me these pieces they have some really good things i feel like they have a bad reputation whether the quality is trash or you know delivery or something like that i had a good experience for delivery it came super fast um overall you'll see how i feel about the pieces but i could just let you know that i'm actually pleased um and it's not trash quality and they actually have pieces that i feel like could work for work um, but then also a lot of these pieces, I feel like could just work for every day as well, especially if you have a little bit more of like a modest look or you're a little bit older, you want to be a little bit more covered up. Um, I feel like these could work for work or just for like every day. So let's get the it. first piece is going to be this sweater and I am so obsessed with this sweater. I love it so much. And I don't know if it's coming off, um, appropriately on camera, but this is like a taupe, um, I guess more like a, a tan, not really camel because it's not that dark, but just like your quintessential tan kind of a stone sweater. Um, it's super neutral. It's literally like, I feel like my exact skin tone, um, but it looks great with so many different things. The fabric is kind of like, uh, a really soft sweater material. It's not an itchy sweater at all. I don't have anything underneath here and it's not itching me for people who are looking for sweaters that don't itch their skin without having to wear something else underneath it. This does not itch my skin. Um, it's like a turtleneck mock neck. So I love that. And it's actually, it's not cropped at all. It comes like right here on me. I am 5'4". So it's, you know, it's really work appropriate. This is a size large. Um, if you want it to be a little bit tighter, you definitely could. Um, typically I go more of like a medium, but in the winter time, you want things to be a little bit larger in case you do need to layer when it gets really, really cold. So, I mean, that works for me. Um, I really, really like it. Comment below, let me know. Also, let me know what's your favorite piece. This is like, I really, really love this sweater. I feel like I could pair it with jeans and that would be a really good look. I still wear whites in the winter and I feel like this sweater would look so good with like some white jeans or some white pants. But um, for the sake of this video, I paired it with the Shein pants, which you can see right here. And then I'm going to step back and show you. These are like, I would say mid-range, but these are pretty high-waisted, especially on me at 5'4". They're like a plaid material, and I'll get a little bit closer so you can see. They are a plaid. It's like, um, it's like, it's black and brown, pretty much. And it's like a, actually it's called hound's tooth, but it looks like a plaid, but you can't really see from a distance. Um, the zipper is on the side, so it just zips up right there. And I really like them. I feel like they're flattering. I'm a pretty curvy girl. So things can look really nasty on me really quickly. Um, but I feel like these look great. Um, they come right at my ankle. So not too short. Like I was really avoiding, I feel like all work pants are like, ankle like cut for the ankle i didn't want that i wanted a full length pant and this is a full length pant and it just looks so great like i feel like it is high waisted but that's what i like i didn't want any situation to where my back was going to be hanging out so that's done there and i would say for the pants typically i'm a large in pants i'm like a size 10 size 8 so I went for the large originally, but I felt like it was too big. I really wanted these to be form fitting. I feel like it would be a little bit more flattering. So I actually got the medium and I'm really excited about that. So yeah, that's how they look. And I would probably just put it with this bag. I showed you guys, you actually saw this sweater in a different video as well, but I would just pair this bag from Amazon with it. I think that would be a really, really cute look. Um, not too fussy, but still looks like pulled together, that sort of thing. And then I would wear this fragrance by Alaya. This is, um, number one. It's like, I think it's their only fragrance right now, but it has like such a beautiful bouquet of florals. It has tuberose, it has jasmine. It has a beautiful sandalwood base and it's just like so gorgeous. I know it's cold out, but I, I, I like to go a little bit on the softer range for work anyway. So I feel like this would just be like the perfect outfit like the bag the everything i'm not doing shoes because i don't wear shoes in my place so period poo but yeah this is the first look let me know what do you think comment below and let's move on to number two
Okay, so this is the second look. I'm super obsessed. I love this shirt so much. This is another one. Originally, I had it in a large. It was huge. It was billowy on me. It's already like a pretty billowy. So if you pick this up, it's already like tight around the wrist and then like billowy up front um, or I guess around the body. So I didn't need the extra room and I feel like you don't want to look super oversized. Oversized clothing at work, I feel like they give off the appearance of slouchiness or just like laziness. Like I feel like those are correlated. I never ever want to go super oversized at work for that reason. But this fits perfect and it's not super sheer. Um, yeah, I don't think you can see anything, right? Or if you can, I mean, if you just want to be safe, just put a little black cami or black long sleeve underneath, especially because it's not the, it's not the thinnest material, but it's also not the thickest as it gets cold. So you should probably do that anyway when it gets cold. But yeah, I love this look so much. The pants also, these are ones that I had originally picked up in a large and I wanted them to be more form fitting. They were like really, really big. Like they remind me of like the Joker's um <laughs> pants slacks um but yeah i like them a lot they actually have belt loops so if you wanted to put a belt around there you totally could um no pockets on the back but i still think very flattering um there are actual pockets here so that's nice this is a fly zip and then this is a button closure so i feel like it looks nice it doesn't like zoop you in or s snatch you in or anything like that i feel like the first pair does more so um but these are really nice do you see it has like that that stripe right there that pin tucking i love that um when it comes to pants because it makes you look thinner but yeah these are also they hit right by the ankle they're all full length they're not ankle pants but just so they don't drag the ground i think they look great um yeah what do you think about the fit do you think i should have went medium should i go back up to the large what do you think about the fit let me know yeah, that's how these look. I think they look so good. So I would do the same bag from Amazon. Again, just a really cheap, affordable vegan leather kind of a bag. Um, you can do like the strap here um, so you can carry your stuff easily or you can do the actual in here. Um, but for the fragrance, I would do Alien Moogler. This one is the Oh Sublime. This one is the Citrus Floral Oriental Scent. I really, really like this one. I think it just smells super dazzling. It's just really elegant. And I think that's how you want to smell at work. Um, but yeah, I love this fragrance. I think it goes very well with the look. Um, but yeah, let me know. What do you think? Look number two. I probably wouldn't wear I don't know if I would wear this watch. Actually, I don't usually wear this watch. I don't know why I had to chose this one. I usually wear a smaller watch, but it looks good. And then the hoops too. Maybe not the hoops, but you know, I also looked and even though this is navy, tell me why I feel like I can wear this bag too. Am I, am I losing it? I don't know. Something about this. I feel like I can wear this bag too. Okay, so here's the sweater. Tuck it in a little bit in the front so it looks a little bit more structured. And then if I just like put this on with it, like I feel like that's cute for some reason. I don't know why I like that. Like this is white and navy. This is again, one of those bags from Amazon, but I don't know. I just like this. Let me know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Another good thing is about all these pieces that I got from Shein, I feel like they're super interchangeable. Like, I feel like I can swap out. You see with the last outfit, like all the pieces, all the pants, you can kind of like mix and match and correlate. Like, I feel like that black shirt, I can also pair with the um, plaid pants. Okay, so I just wanted to show you while I have on this sweater, the last pair of pants. So this sweater looks good with all of those pants. This sweater looks good with almost everything. Like, I really think if you don't have anything like this in your wardrobe, please pick it up. Um, I will probably scrunch the um, sleeves with this look. And these pants, let me get a little bit closer. They are like a polka dot. And I literally cannot tell if they're black or navy. Like in person, um, I guess I could like actually look at the link. But yeah, these have pockets. I actually didn't know they had pockets. Um... But yeah, these are probably like the thinnest material. This material actually feels super, super, like really, really thin. But I don't feel like it looks unprofessional. Like sometimes when you wear those kind of pants, they look super unprofessional. Do I have these on backward? I might have these pants on back. I do. I have these pants on backward. I have them on backward. But whatever. Yeah, that's how they look. So they kind of hit it the same area right at the um, ankle. But yeah. 
looks really really good they're just some nice polka dot pants they're not too crazy sometimes with print pants you can look literally insane i feel like these are like just fine um but yeah i like this outfit this is probably more of like a casual friday outfit super comfy even if you're working from home and you like want to look good at home but you still want to be comfortable or you have a zoom meeting or interview these pants are super comfortable i mean you could do anything in them and the sweater is really cozy as well for the bag i probably would go with this one too because it's more of like a tote like as soon as you get off work you could just run out and go shopping and it's holidays you could do whatever um uh, if the restaurants are open where you're uh where you are they can grab some takeout or just like run errands and since this is a more casual outfit i probably would do a chloe scent this is chloe love story it's a rose but then it has some citrus in it as well um but i feel like that is like really great for the workplace really great for like some casual errands not too much not too fussy and you know it's not going to be like inoffensive but yeah this is the look for i feel like the third look so i'm gonna give you guys two more looks and you guys can let me know which one you like the best okay so with the polka dot pants i am back to this black blouse um i think it looks good with so many different things but yeah i'm just gonna tuck it in and you know the pants are still turned around so there's that but they did have the pockets i think it looks good it looks a little bit a little bit more um <laughs> so funny look at that a little bit more dressed than when he had the sweater on so i think this is good for like any time in the office um i feel like this shows the fear a little bit more but that's totally okay i think it's a little bit more judged up and i really love a patterned pant but for that reason i would totally pair this with because i feel like this is glamorous i just love this with the pattern pant the polka dot pant this blouse and then this bag this is like a totally i think this entire look is like under a hundred dollars sans the fragrance the fragrance is more expensive than anything but this i will pair with the paco Rabanne, um olympia this is the salted caramel Ooh, it just smells so regal this smells like when you have a meeting and someone's been messing up and you're gonna have to tell them like look you need to do x y and z like that's this kind of fragrance like this is like boss boss chick kind of a look um but yeah i really like this one again no shoes we're not gonna do shoes but yeah this is how that looks I think super cute. I think it shows the fear. Like I hate being like a complete dud at work. We spend most of our lives at work and you don't want to be like, I don't know, like not cute. Um, but that's how the look is. Let me know your thoughts. And we have one more look. Okay, so in this one, we are back to the original pants, the like plaid pants, that sort of thing, um, which I really love. I think these are my favorite pants out of the entire look or out of the entire bunch but i still have on the black blouse the last thing that i did is i just paired this sleeveless camel um sweater on top and it just like changes everything like i love it i feel like it's a little bit more like artsy creative kind of look it has these buttons on the side i just think it looks really cool um i like that it's a little bit longer in the back so if you are a little bit self-conscious about big booty then you can cover it up with this but all in all i love this i feel like this is like a legitimate dressed outfit like i love this this is really really cute um but yeah i love this piece i feel like this actually this has really low so yeah you would have to wear something underneath it but i feel like this is just the perfect thing what do you think which one would you do i feel like this adds a little bit more like if you work in a creative field graphic design or something like that i feel like you could do this bag like you could mix prints but if you have a little bit more of a conservative office then just do the black one um but which bag would you guys do the final fragrance i would just do ellen tracy bronze this is like a beautiful soft coconut kind of a scent um i just love this scent so much like i wear this all the time it's like a almost like a citrus coconut scent it kind of reminds me of like an off-brand tom ford um eau de soleil blanc like literally that's how it smells it's a mix between tom ford eau de soleil blanc and then also estee lauder bronze goddess like that's literally how it smells tell me what you think what are your thoughts i would love to know and let me know if you like this kind of video thumbs up share this with someone else that really like this sort of thing fashion and fragrance lifestyle and i catch you guys in the next video peace